What up, y'all? Welcome to the video. As y'all coming in, y'all smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you ain't already subscribed. It's your first video you came across in mind. With this one, man, I want to talk about how uh, I was watching the post press conference with Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia, and it was a big thing made about Bernard Hopkins and uh, Oscar De La Hoya not showing up to the post press conference, which was very disloyal, you know, they were, it was just so disloyal, bro, it, it, and it revealed a lot of things, you know, some of the things people already probably had, you know, uh, thoughts about or whatever, and, and some of the things you, you probably just now found out, but first of all, right, let's talk about the thing that happened at, uh, <clears throat> at the weigh-in. What was that, Friday? So, Bernard Hopkins, you know, went viral, basically, for, for, for touching Tank, being all the way on Tank's side, right? In the middle of the, uh, you know, anytime weigh-ins go down, if you, when you with your guy, you stay on your side. And everybody on, with me, they stay on my side. Nobody need to be over there. That's like, that's like crossing enemy lines. You know, so what Noah Hopkins found his big head, fake philosophical <laughs> looking. <laughs> you hear me? That he found himself all the way over there on the other side, touching this man back. Why is you touching this man back, bro? You know, so Tank snapped that on. It was almost like damn near, like it was almost like you at the zoo and, and you stuck your hand through. A tiger cage or something like that. You heard me? They didn't snatch you up because <laughs> he didn't expect that reaction. But you got you to know, man, Tank ain't with all that friendly, nice, that nice shit, man. So, yeah, man. So he definitely deserved that. So fast forward. Ryan get knocked out. He get punched in the body and, and quit. Tank made him quit. He, uh, he quit. So, after the fight, right, seemed to me like them guys was the first guys that left the building. Because how is you my promoter? And, and y'all supposed to be my people, right? And you don't show up to the post-parents conference and leave me back here with all these people having to explain why, how I lost and everything like that to face the embarrassment like a man. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know for sure because I'm, I, I'm not a boxer, but I, I would, I'm would i willing to bet that most boxers, right, they take an L, one of the worst things they hate to do is show up to that post-press conference after you get lost. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and they definitely got to feel some type of way about that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, like, because it's like these dudes asking me the dumbest questions in the world. After I just lost, I'm just thinking about going home and just, you know what I'm saying, uh, thinking about my night or whatever, um, or try to do something else to keep my mind off the situation or whatever. But and then to find to look to my left and look to my right and don't see my promoter, don't see his right hand man, see these guys, but you all at the way in, you know, still taking attention away from what I got going on because you want to be it to be all about you, even at the press conference, the final press conference, Oscar throwing shots and eh, 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 eh. Showtime, PBC, Al Heyman, Floyd, uh, Lena LB and all them. That's why Lena LB snapped on him. So it's like. These guys kind of whole thing about being in that situation. Well, it was really all about them. Selfish. Selfish, mother. <laughs> Selfish. You hear me? It's crazy, bro. I, that mean you were never really with me. You know what I'm saying? If I'm Ryan Garcia, you was never with me, bro. Like, you, you just here just to be here because you don't like these guys. You just want to show your face. You know what I'm saying? Be around. Fucking lames. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, you know, that's why I said about the old ass niggas, man. That's why Tank told his ass niggas, sit your fucking ass down and let the youngins do it. You want to be all in the mix and shit. Sit your old big head ass down. 
You in Oscar De La Hoya. Fag. Spoon in the booty ass. Sit the fuck down. And get the fuck out the way. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it's all about, bro. They left that man hanging, bro. But you all in my shit. You know what I'm saying? Making headlines and, 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 and you know, shit like that. You all in my shit. You see what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. I just wanted to bring that to attention, man, because cause definitely got to talk about that. You know what I'm saying? These dudes, man. Crazy, bro. Ryan Garcia need a new team. Take your ass over there to PVC, man. They obviously had more love for you than your own team. You know, you had Mayweather over there shaking your hand, take taking pictures with you and shit. Got down Lena L B hollering at you. You know what I'm saying? Niggas showing love to you and shit. You done gave your all your niggas the deal. <laughs> the fuck? You heard me? Got a shitty day. Then you go to a club and shit with your boys. You get your ass beat in a one-on-one. -on -one, and next thing you know, you wake up and shit. All them niggas gone home and shit like that. Where, where my niggas at? You like that, yo. <laughs> nah, what are my niggas around this motherfucker? I ain't got knocked out. Look at everybody gone. We in the club, nigga. All type of shit going down in motherfucker. Nigga stumping you and shit. You know what I'm saying? All types of shit. Shit crazy, bro. But it is what it is, man. Y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. You subscribed already. I'm out. Deuces.